Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name's Chad and today, well, today's a little bit of a different one. Um, we haven't done much of this on the channel, but today's kind of a big day if you haven't watched it already. Although if you click this, you probably watched it already. Ken Block's new Jim Gymkhana came out and it's special because this time he's partnered with Audi and it's an all electric car. Now, I go into this with a couple questions. One, like, Part of Jim Connor's like charm, its appeal is the sound the cars make. The V8 from the Hunicorn, the V6 turbo from the Huna truck, all the four cylinders from all of the different rally cars he did, Subaru, Ford, etc. I'm really curious to see how that transitions over when you talk about uh, an electric car. Now, I have watched some of the behind the behind the scenes stuff, and I do have a rough idea on, on what's going on here. And apparently the electric car is pretty loud. Uh, if you can believe that, I guess high performance car, 10 million plus build. Um, yeah, it's probably going to make noise, but is it that same visceral noise that we as car guys uh, kind of love? And that's what I'm going to find out. So without further ado, uh, we're going to dive right into it. That's, I think, actually Ken Block's Sport Quattro, uh, the old rally car inspired vehicle, the inspiration behind the Unitron. <laughs> there we go. Apparently, this thing has a cooling system just for charging, which is insane. It's unique. It's pretty unique looking. Um, I don't know. I'm not 100% on it yet. It's growing on me from the first time I saw it, but let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, the wheel speed's nuts. <laughs> uh, this was done in Vegas, for those of you who didn't know. Look, just... So one of the things with uh, with this car is just how much torque it makes at both, I guess, axles. Um, it's obscene. I think it was like 4,000 Newton meters plus, I think, at each axle, uh, if I remember correctly, which is nuts, which is why you see the it, that number on the dash. With That's wheel speed. So like he's not actually going 200 kilometers an hour or whatever. That's just the wheel speed. But because there's no transmission to deal with and you have that instant torque um it's just nuts how fast he can just roast the tires i think in the thing i watched they typically go through like 40 sets uh they went through over 100 on this one and you you can see why it's just the instant torque of electrification um sounds different i'm not that's a sound that's gonna have to grow on me i'm sorry there's, there's no beating a v8 there just isn't um but if you can get electric cars with real noise i'm looking at Looking at you, Dodge. Uh, real noise, I think that puts some of the gearheads' uh, concerns about electric cars at ease. I mean, it's Ken Block, what do you expect? <laughs> wow, 
One thing, when I get a good... <laughs> Wouldn't be Vegas without Elvis, right? Apparently this thing does center axis donuts like nothing he's ever driven, and it just melts tires. Yeah. So, one thing I wanted to touch here is the seating position. Now, when you drive a car, you think you're just kind of upright. But if you look here, his butt is below his feet. It's a more open wheel style, more prototype style of driving. And that's because underneath, that's actually where the battery pack for this thing lives. So like, it's a completely different seating position than he's used to. So he had to almost learn, you know, what his butt's telling him. You know, we all have that finely tuned uh, butt dyno that tells us when the car is getting a little sideways, when it's pushing, when you're going and all that. He kind of had to recalibrate that because he's sitting with, again, with his feet, <coughs> feet above his butt, which... <laughs> the fact that he can get into this in very short order, just drive like this, is a testament to him and his insanely good car control. Ah, uh, tunnel. I missed the V8. I miss it. Just such a cool lighting and everything. Alright, so real quick. So to the, some of you who aren't that familiar with uh, prototype racing, those, uh, these two, uh, right up here in the upper right, those are the original R8s. Um, they were dominant uh, Le Mans cars. When you think of Audi at Le Mans, you think dominance, and this was the car that, that kind of kicked it off. And ironically, not an electric motor in sight for those. Uh, just good old-fashioned, direct-injected, gasoline-burning uh, V8, as God intended. Into a... Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's an interesting take on the donut box. The fact that nothing's broken is insane. They're the R8s again. This kind of gives you a better idea of the seating position. Um, right here is his knee. So that'll kind of give you an idea again where his feet are. Oh, an old quattro. Okay. This really does sound like a just Grown up, uh, big, enormous, obviously very powerful RC car. Another thing this car could be locked in any wheel drive that he wanted, rear wheel, front wheel, one wheel drive if necessary, just that's electric cars, you can send whatever power you want, whatever wheel you want, whenever you want. I'm genuinely curious if they're going to make a, a Gymkhana file or Electricana files about this because I'd really love to see what this behind the scenes on this. Oh, those are the... Let's go back. Um, these are the IMSA GTO cars. Massively powerful back in the 80s when, you know, eight, nine, a thousand horsepower reigned supreme in motorsport before, you know, that became a little too much. Um, 
these, uh, I'm not sure about the one on the right, but the one on the left is you can see uh, right up, right enough to the four, maybe you can or maybe you can't, depending on the device you're looking at, uh, IMSA GT, uh, which was in, insane. Like, I think Group C era on steroids, uh, these things had enormously uh, massive turbo turbos on four cylinders and again made eight nine hundred horsepower i think he came close to a thousand um rather unsurprisingly the all-wheel drive system um as in most forms of motorsport uh was outlawed uh, because basically they were just kicking the crap out of everyone and everything like that but uh and these are actually the way the wheels are uh, i don't think I'm not sure if they're turbo fans, but they do serve a purpose. I think it's to suck air in and cool brakes and stuff like that. But I, I am I am really digging the fact that they're throwing a lot of old Audi, uh, old classic Audi motorsport stuff in here. That's that's really cool. I think the other one was a um, Trans Am car. If I'm, not mistaken. I'm doing this all for money. I, uh, I have no idea. Or I shouldn't say no idea. <laughs> oh, is that? Hold on a second. That's Tom Christensen. If you don't know who he is, uh, the most winningest driver at Le Mans, especially for overall wins, and an absolute legend uh, for Audi. Uh, they they actually call him Mr. Lamar, so um, <laughs> pretty awesome cameo. I didn't catch quite which version of the LMP car they're driving. I think this is, um, I'm going to draw a blank on it. I think this was their most recent one uh, before Dieselgate killed off Audi and Porsche's involvement at Lamar. Up until next year, Porsche is coming back, but Tom Christensen, absolute legend for Audi. Some Quattros. Sport Quattro in there is the white one, I think. That might actually be Ken's car. Uh, Ken's personal car, I mean. And Vegas is such a cool spot for this because it's just, it's glorious at night. No segue? Watch the speed. See how it instantly... Here, let's go back and look at that again. Watch this. Just 36 to 90. And, <clears throat> and that's just the wheel speed. And that's what the electric car does. It just breaks traction so easily. Um, insane. Another good shot. You can see his knees down here. Of the driving position. There it was. That was Electricana. Um, Vegas, awesome choice. All the lights. It's very, for lack of a better way of putting it, electric. <laughs> um, the car itself, amazing piece of kit, amazing piece of technology. If you want more on it, they go into a deep dive on Hoonigan's main channel. It's an incre it, It's 10, 11, 12, I think even maybe $14 million. It is insane. It, it, it just they have an entire cooling system just to charge the car let alone run the thing it's an absolutely insane piece of engineering uh really really cool uh the electric sound like i said in the video it sounds like you're at an old um rc car meet with a lot of electric well because they're all a lot of them are electric um no it's really cool i love the capability of the car you can tell just by watching that, that they haven't really gathered an idea of what the car is capable of the reverse entry was nuts uh best i think i've ever seen them do uh i'm interested to, i'm really interested to see what they do with this car going forward um that felt a little what's the word i don't want to say safe because obviously it's insane what he's doing at the speeds he's doing but i feel like they gave us kind of that retro feel with the old audis some of the tricks we've seen and liked 
you know, the donut box inside the casino was a new take on an old gag. Like, they gave us a lot of safe kind of tricks to where it wasn't like this will make, make or break the video. So I think a lot of that was very, very cool. Uh, I th again, but I think there were safe choices. I really, I'm looking forward to Electricana 2 or Electricana 3 or whatever, where they really start to push the limits of the platform and find out what they can and can't do with the electric car that they were being held back with uh, in the gasoline powered car. Uh, and as Ken gets used to the car more, uh, the thing I was watching, he did a lot of controlling wheel speed with the clutch in the gasoline powered cars and he can't do that in an electric car so as he gets more used to it as they figure out the limits of the car what it can and can't do i think these things are just gonna get better and better and better i think it was a really cool video i again loved vegas the, loved the old classic uh, audis in there i think that was a really really cool touch mr lamar tom christensen in the video itself that's really really cool uh overall uh not the best jim Connor uh, ever uh, that goes to five or seven. Still hard to beat those, but it's it's promising, right? It's really cool to see them trying something new and showing off a platform that we all kind of dread in a very performance oriented way. So I think that's that's a really 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 cool thing. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend, all that sort of fun stuff, and. Tune in every Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Greg and I go live. Uh, we have great car conversation, debates, talking with chat, all sorts of really, really, really awesome stuff. Definitely check that out. But for this video, that's a wrap. And I'll catch you next time, guys.